A train collision brings to light the conflict between public safety and money. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Our top story tonight is in Athens, where a train hit a truck and the driver lived to tell his story. But his call for a crossing gate near where he was hit may fall on deaf ears. News Channel 1's Makaya Thurman met with the driver this morning. She joins us live from the scene of the accident. Makaya. Calvin, Latricia, I'm standing off of Howard Street in Athens, Tennessee, and I want to now show you the scene of that accident. If you take a look right behind me, you'll see the Howard Street Railroad crossing. That's where Warren King says he was driving his pickup truck and had no idea a train was coming. Now he's asking city administrators to install crossing gates, but that may not happen. All I can say is that I didn't see a train coming when I pulled on the side road, so I just got hit. 71-year-old Warren King sits in his favorite chair, grateful to be alive, after coming face-to-face -face with a railway train yesterday morning. When I look back and see where it was, and I didn't see nothing, come on across. Athens Patrol Officer Jason Robbins was the first on the scene and spoke with the train operator who says he did everything he could to sound his horn. He advised me that he was blowing the whistle numerous times to try and alert the driver, and he said that he just kept on going slowly across the train tracks. Didn't hear anything either, but everybody told me the train was blowing his horn. Locked in his seatbelt and out of time, King had no choice but to brace himself. He was pushing me up a little bit there, and after he pushed the back windows out and the front window, I just sat there and rode it out. And when he got out, he walked away with minor bruising. Now he lives to tell his story, but he says flashing lights aren't enough. He hopes his accident will force city administrators to install a railroad crossing gate. When I was sitting down there and, and looking at that truck, I thought all the thing that went through my mind, what could have happened. But the city manager for Athens, Tennessee, tells us it's not that easy. He says that installing new crossing gates would cost more than $100,000. Plus, there's no overnight fix. The last set the city installed took 13 years to build. And after such a close call with death, King says he knows one thing for sure. It just wasn't my time to go. That's all I can say. happy to be alive and he tells me the number one thing on his agenda is spending time with his family and friends. Reporting from Athens, Tennessee, Micaiah Thurman, News Channel 9.